Greetings viewers, in this video we are going to look at this trigonometric question. Now the first thing that you need to know is to understand the rules. Okay, if it's a non-right angle triangle, we have two rules. We have what we call the cosine rule and the sine rule and the sine rule. Now, this cosine rule is applicable when you are given all the three sides, side, 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 when you are given all the three sides, and also when you are given side, angle, side, when you are given two sides and an angle, and bear in mind that the angle should be in between the two sides. Then, if it's not a cosine rule, then automatically it's a sine rule. Look at this. You have two angles and a side, but it's not side angle side no it says angle angle side so here we are going to use um we're going to use sine rule okay now how do you find angles on the sides of the cosine uh, sine rule we use this sine angle a over side a which is equal to sine b over side D, I mean, this is a sorry, then is equal to sine C over C. Now, these are just ratios, but at a time we only use two. At a time we only use two. So, in this case, the first question we are asked to find distance AC, AC here. So, the first thing we are going to uh, write sides. So opposite of this side B is this one. So I'm going to write small letter B. Opposite of this uh, C is this side. Opposite of this A is this side. So the formula will be, uh, since we're finding this one, it will be sine B over small letter B, which is equal to, which is equal to, sine c of what small letter c why have you uh, used the c why we have used the c is because we have all the side i mean we have um, a side and its corresponding angle here we can't use this one because we don't have an angle we can find an angle yes but we don't have a side so that's the reason why we've used this sine c here all right let's substitute what you are given sine b B is an angle which is 79 degrees over a side B, which is AC. Okay? Is equal to sine. C is 40 degrees. So, we just substitute with 40 degrees there. Then, uh, side, side C is 15. So, we just cross multiply. When you cross multiply, it will be sine 40 ac is equal to 15 sine 79 degrees so divide by sine 40 even this side by sine uh, 40 degrees so this sine 40 and this sine 40 will cancel and you remain with AC is equal to. Now, when you punch on the calculator, this everything here 15 sine 79 degrees divided by sine 40, we are going to find 22.90.907.111975751. Uh, now, when you round this figure off to three significant figures, it will be 22.9. Because this one is less than 5. So, you will not add to the previous number. To previous number, 22.9 20, kilometers, since this is just the distance. This is question A. Now, question B, I mean question 1, question 2. Uh, will be is asking us to find area of triangle AC. Area of triangle AC. 
So to find the area of triangle AC, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to half. Now the two sides that are given, we have 15 degrees and here we have 22.9. So we can use A and B. So half AB sine, automatically here we're going to use sine C, angle C, which is here. This angle. Okay, this angle here. Now, with this, we don't have this angle. We can, we can find it by adding all the angles here. So let's just write x plus 79 degrees plus 40 degrees is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180. When you add 79 plus 40, you have uh, 180. Uh, 119 so 119 will cross the cosine 119 will cross the cosine and becomes negative 100 and negative 119 okay so when you subtract here 180 180 minus 119 you find 61 degrees so here at C you're going to substitute with 61 so area is equal to half a uh, mean not we not use a here sorry uh, we use b and this uh, sorry so the formula is supposed to be area not this one apologies so area is equal to half the two given sides here is b and c not a i thought this one is an a okay so b and C, they need to be sine this angle, sine A. Okay. So area is equal to half. B is 22.9. Then C is 15. Sine the angle we found previously, which is 61. So when you calculate here, we're going to find 150. 150.2159347 when you round this one off to one decimal place it will be 150.2 kilometers squared okay kilometers squared all right then finally the last question we are asked to find the shortest distance from b to ac from b so from this point to this point so if i to draw a line here you find that it will form a right angle triangle here even this side the right angle triangle so to find to find the shortest distance we are going to say Shortest distance SD is equal to 2 times area multiplied by the base. So 2 area is 150.2. Then the base where the, uh, the, where the base which is this. Which is this one from A which is just AC is 22.9. 22.9. So when you calculate here, you're going to find 13.111 or 117903393. When you round this one off to one to three significant figures, it will be 13.1 kilometers. So this is the shortest distance. Let's compare it to, to other uh, length. So this is 15, this is 15 degrees, and this side is 22, then this one is 13. Indeed, it is the shortest distance when it's compared with the other three, because this is 13 kilometers, then this is 22.9, 22.9, indeed, this one is the shortest distance. So that's how you calculate um, distance, area, and shortest distance when you are calculating uh, when you're solving uh, nine right angle triangles where you're supposed to use the sine rule 
Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe and uh, like the video. Thank you.